We've got another title on the line in this next 150 pound division, another five rounder. This will be for the 150 pound gamma title coming up. This will be Matthew Valencia, Matthew Allhart Valencia in his first title defense. He won this title back at the Rigoro Fighting Championships in April in a barn burner of, of a fight. And I'll tell you, he's bringing it to the ring and he certainly plans on bringing it out. He will be facing the man coming to the ring now, now Pedro Ribeira out of all-star Muay Thai with a four and two record. It's Coach Billy Bello bringing him in. Originally from Belo Horizonte, Minas Gerais, Brazil. He has been here since 2018. Training for three years, he now has a chance at this 150 pound title. He's competed in kickboxing as well as Muay Thai and he aims to take the title that was so difficultly won by Matthew Valencia. As Allheart Valencia, a crowd favorite Valencia is very intense, very focused, and I'm sure very ready. He's looking to defend his title tonight. You know what they say, becoming an undisputed champion is what makes you a true champion. And that's what he's looking to do here tonight by defending his title. Fighting out of Rigoro Jim and his coach Ricky Villazelu. Originally out of Poughkeepsie, New York. We last saw him at the K-Series one in January with an impressive win over Erling, Erling Collado. He's known for his relentless pressure. He mixes it up between head shots, body kicks, huge volume coming at you, and tremendous cardio. As Ric Flair said, to be the man, you've got to beat the man. And that man is Matthew Valencia making his way to the ring. This is our first title defense. It's important to note that whenever someone's defending their title, they are the holder of that title. We've had two title bouts that uh, people were fighting for vacant titles. This is not that, that the case. So if you're Pedro, not only do you have to, you know, push hard and fight hard, but you've actually got to take the title away from Matthew and prove to the judges that it doesn't belong to him. And that is a tough, tough thing to do because Matt Valencia worked so hard to get to that position. Starting his martial arts career at nine, bringing him all the way here. And we will go to Mike Falvo for the official announcement to kick this off. The action continues on the card for K-Series Kickboxing with our next championship fight. It is for the Gamma New York State 150 pound championship introducing first fighting out of the blue corner representing all-star mixed martial arts Pedro Rivero his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner representing Rigaro Jim all heart Matthew Valencia. A good face off there. Very, very intense. You can right, feel the intensity coming from them both. Looks times. like he's claiming the ring already. Matt Valencia with an 8 and 0 oh record in the kickboxing ring. The man in charge of he the is intense and locking the eyes, but he's Mr. also showing good sportsmanship. Good balance there. It's all in good fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Nobody's being a too pushy about it. There is plenty of time for that, and we are about to start that time here with referee Chris Romulo getting a start to the action. Five two-minute rounds scheduled here for the K-Series title. Liam Tarrant and LG Pinnell joining you as Matthew Valencia defends his title against Pedro Rivera. Valencia from the red corner, Rivera from the blue. Good hand combinations coming out of the blue corner. Matthew Valencia has a nice guard. He's thrown a couple of right kicks. Again, he's the reigning champ. He's the defending champion. He does want to make a statement here, I'm sure, but at the end of the day, all he really wants to do is keep his title. So he's got to be careful. He probably wants to be thoughtful and methodical. No reason to take any crazy risks. And that's a tough thing to do when you're facing somebody out of all-star Muay Thai. We've seen them put a lot of people on the scene recently. Coach Billy Bello, an experienced fighter himself. As the saying goes, 
If you want to be a general, you still got to be a soldier. And when you're learning from somebody like Billy Bello, we've seen the quality of fighters coming out of that gym. Matt Valencia has quite the job in front of him here tonight to hold on to that title. I haven't seen many uh, shin blocks from either gentleman. I think that would help both of them out a little bit later. I'm already seeing some redness to the arms and body. They've thrown a lot of body kicks. Ooh. Nice leg kick there. Beautifully by timed inside kick. Guard saved him there, Matthew, as he was getting a big five-piece combo from Pedro. He was able to block every single one of the shots with his high guard. Nice combination there. Pedro landed a solid knee followed by a punch. Pedro's doing a very good job of throwing longer combinations. Ooh. It's very difficult. Oh, accidental low blow here. He may have to take some time. Low blow. Yes, we will. He has up to five minutes to recover. You can take that time. You want to make sure you're coming back in fresh. As I was saying, though, Pedro has a, does a great job of throwing longer combinations. That's hard to do in a fight like this against a well-versed champion, you know? To be able to throw three and four piece combos rather than ones and twos shows a lot of composure and a lot of drilling. Piecing them together nice and smooth. Look at that. A jab cross and a left knee that lands to Matthew Valencia as we end the first round. First round in the books, you're seeing, I'm seeing a little redness over the left eye of Pedro Ribeiro. And I think we're just getting started here. We're going into the second round, but it seems like both guys are starting to kick into the next gear, get themselves going. Absolutely. The nerves are kind of over with at this point. The excitement of the moment is kind of over uh, at this point, and now you can relax into the fight. Start to get back to your strategy. You hear your coach's voice clearly for the first time during the fight. You're able to relax a little bit. And remember that you have a whole team behind you. It's not just you in there. Being able to execute what your coach says is so very important. Here we go. Second round is going to start here soon. Here we go, second of five scheduled two-minute rounds. Ooh, nice solid right hand letter from Valencia. Ribrio trying to, seems like he's trying to play a bit of a longer game. Stay outside there. Valencia is known for just walking his opponents down. I think they both accidentally hit each other with a low blow during that exchange. They were both shooting for leg kicks, shot at the exact same time. They were both hurt a little bit. There we go. Straight it back into exchanges. Pedro was a little too close for that big knee to land. And Matthew stepped out of range and is throwing punches of his own. Good Ooh. teeps there. Coming off the ropes. Pedro really using that length. Ooh, nice exchange of punches there. Ribeiro with those long legs trying to whip them into the body of Valencia. Valencia with a nice... 1-2 coming in, but Ribeiro's guard, very solid. Ooh, wow. That Good was like exchange. two right hands <laughs> landed at the same time. Rocky three ending style. You're right, I do see some redness and swelling over the eye of Pedro. Big body kick from, Ma from Matthew Valencia. He does a good job of throwing his switch kick nice and fast and hard. The reason that he's probably throwing the switch kick is because uh, they're both in orthodox stance. So his body is open on that right side. So he wants to throw the left kick to go up under the ribs and hit the open side of Pedro. And here with the kick right side is exposed. Here with that kickboxing rule set you'd mentioned before, LG, that hitting the open area and connecting solidly with the target scores highly. Exactly. Throwing a right kick to an outside arm won't score as highly as throwing a left kick that goes straight to the solar plexus, open ribs, and body. And since they're both in orthodox stance, when you switch your feet to set up that heavy left kick, it opens that target right, target right up. 
I'm seeing Valencia's corner tell him to keep his guard a little bit higher now. Maybe take some, uh, throw some punches to the body and then come back upstairs. This is still anybody's fight if we go into the third round. We should be kicking up a notch here. And uh, remember that the burden of persuasion is on Pedro tonight. He's got to make a statement to the judges in order to decrown the reigning champion, Matthew Valencia. He's turning up the gas. And here we go as we start this third of a five scheduled two minute rounds. Nice hands to start it out for Valencia. Nice punch landed there by Pedro. It kind of threw Matthew's head back. Matthew was able to step forward, but he caught a teep walking into him just now. Yeah, Pedro does a good job of using his distance and his length. While you see Valencia really trying to walk him down and take that advantage away. I think I see some bleeding from the mouth of Valencia. I'm not sure if that happened last round or this round. Doesn't seem to be too bad. Nice deep to the head there from Pedro. The referee will break them up there and resume the action. Oh, nice one two there from Valencia, followed by a body kick. Ribeiro responds to the punch of his own. I love that he throws that switch kick. That is such a wise move. Almost every single time he's able to slip under the right arm of Pedro and land to the floating ribs. Again, that's all awareness of the fact, oh, my opponent is standing orthodox just like I am. If I want to go to the open body target, I've got to switch my feet. Valencia starting to pick up steam Oh my here. goodness, I think Matthew Valencia just got hurt with a big body knee that came from Pedro right up under his left Ooh. side. Another big right knee to Valencia's left side. I think Valencia might be hurt. Now, the liver shot famous for being a target. Oh my, lots of knees. But on your, the liver's on your right side. On the left, you've got your spleen there, and that can really do a lot of damage as well to stun somebody and slow them down. Not sure what referee Chris Romulo is warning Rivero about there. We resume the action. And that will be the end of the round. Those knees to Valencia's body were very damaging and very hard. He threw one, uh, two to the right side of Valencia's body, as you said, to the spleen and to the floating ribs, and he threw one that seemed to connect to the liver or floating ribs on the left side as well. Valencia kind of dropped his arms and caved downward all three times, but popped right back up and was ready for more action. Really a smart tactic with somebody like Valencia who's stepping in, trying to come towards you, and. You know, with the long legs that Rivero's got, if he can keep attacking that body and sort of slow down that momentum, maybe he can further use that advantage he's got with the, with the length and the reach. Absolutely. Ma Matthew is known for his relentless pressure. So if somebody's pressuring forward with big punches, you want to slide up under them with your knees, especially if you have the long range that Pedro does. We're entering the championship rounds now, and it's very important that one gentleman starts to make a statement because this has been a very close fight so far. Definitely close. Both fighters showing a lot of skill in there and landing shots of their own. Crowd is getting excited. This has been a close fight. Fourth of a five scheduled rounds here. Two I minutes. think Matthew Valencia's body is hurt. Pedro is coming in with big, heavy body kicks. You can see with that body kick, did you see Valencia wins? Absolutely. His elbows are in really tied up against his ribs as well sometimes, and that's a good indication that he's uh, trying to protect his ribs because they're already hurting. Big swinging shots there from uh, Matthew Valencia. They didn't seem to land. Trying to swarm. Ribriero with a nice high kick there. Valencia keeps trying to press forward. Not sure what Ribriero is looking towards there. Another right knee from Pedro. 112 left in the fourth round. Another shot to the body from Ribeiro. You really start to see how endurance plays into this sport. Here in the fourth round, they've been fighting for so long. They're both pushing towards each other using a lot of strength and pressure. 
but their arms, their legs. Ooh, their solid core, right hand. Everything's exhausted, and they're swinging for the fences. Ribeiro landed a solid right flush to Valencia's head there. And yeah, exhausted is definitely a good way to put it. It's not just the energy you're exerting, but absorbing those shots is just wearing you down and wearing you down. Two teeps come for Ribeiro. I like Ribeiro's uh, plan to go to the body so much. It seems to be working, and Matthew has been, uh, oh, a little bit of a sweep of sorts there. I'm not sure that was legal. No, in this rule set, they're saying if you catch, you've got to throw a strike simultaneously. There is no, oh, wow. Nice right team to the face from Ribeiro. That's a good statement to make after you come off the canvas <laughs> in the judge's eyes. Coming back with a big shot like that is a good way to erase that, their memory of you falling. Yeah, you want to put me on the canvas? Here's a taste of the canvas in the bottom of my foot. <laughs> <laughs> We're entering the fifth and final round of this title bout. The 150-pound Gamma title is on the line. It's it Right now it belongs to Matthew Valencia. And boy, he wants to keep it, but Pedro wants to take it home with him this evening to his team who has so very well prepared him for this fight. I mean, you know, he's, he has six fights in the book, but he looks to have so much more experience than just six fights. Absolutely, I mean, his, his skill level here, his adjustment of attacking that body and trying to stick to his game plan and not let himself get sworn by Valencia. I've seen so many people where Valencia just walks them down and bullies them in there. And Ribeiro is doing a fantastic showing, really putting on a strong campaign for this Gamma title. And uh, Matthew Valencia. Let's see that kick on a replay real quick. Here it comes. Ooh, oh, big teep to the head. Solid teep to the face as we go into this fifth and final round for the 150-pound Gamma New York State title. Matthew Valencia in the red. Pedro Ribeiro in the blue corner. Matthew Valencia has um, had so much success in the kickboxing arena. He's 8-0 in, in kickboxing. And, um, you know, after taking some body shots, it can be hard to keep your confidence up. But he is the reigning champ. All he's got to do is defend it this evening. Pedro landing some hard, hot headshots. Valencia still throwing those rounding punches. You can see Valencia just pressing forward, pressing forward. I think he knows that he might have um, lost that that round with our, where all the knees were thrown. I'm not sure if that was the second or the third. But he's trying to step forward and make a statement to the judges that this isn't over and this championship round belongs to him. And we saw there as Ribeiro threw a, a knee, Valencia blocked it with his arms. Wow, Valencia really trying to pour it on here. He is nonstop. Less than a minute remains. When someone's throwing rounding punches like that, you kind of want to go down the center Ooh. line and be linear. Big headshot from Valencia. That's Big head kick. That's what they say. Straight punches beat looping punches, and looping punches can beat straight punches. We will see in this final grind of 35 seconds who is going to pull this out. Oh, Pedro eating some punishment to the body there. I'm sorry, uh, Matthew eating some punishment to the body there. No problem for him. He's marching forward, body shots, head shots. That is a good him look for him. Ropes. That is a good look for him at the end of this round and at the end of this fight. That's what it's going to take. So much heart displayed in this bout between these two gentlemen. Five seconds left here. And that will be the fight. What? A fight. Wow. That is a tough one to call. So much action. You know, I almost w wish I had a ticker in my hand so I could have counted how many significant shots there were. It had to be endless. It's so hard to keep track. Like, to, like I've had people ask me after commentating, before, like, so who did you think won this round or that round? And I'm like, dude, I've been talking for six hours. <laughs> and I've been watching every every bout. But also, when you're, when you're watching, it's hard to judge in the moment because you're seeing so many good yep. things from both sides. That's why I, I do not envy the judges when they've got to watch. Judging is a very hard, hard skill to have. I judged for a while for New Jersey State, and it's hard to keep track of everything. And it's true, at the end of the round, you might just happen to remember the things you saw at the end that make a bigger impression on you. Yep. 
each round is supposed to be scored individually with each round counting for the same weight in the total score. However, when it comes to momentum, if the scorecards are pretty even, momentum matters. Absolutely, that can be the, the thing that pushes it over the edge for one side versus the other. If it's so, it's such a dead heat, you're right. If, if you say, well, he came ahead in the fourth and fifth round, three was kind of up in the air, one and two might have been the other way. It depends on the judge. You might say, you know what? Coming ahead in the end counts. Matthew's the reigning champion. We are going to go for the official decision. They're still tallying the scorecards. We will see, will Matthew Valencia re retain his 150-pound gamma title, or has Pedro Ribeiro done enough to take it home with him? We go to Mike Falvo. How about a round of applause for five amazing rounds of kickboxing action? And after five rounds of kickboxing, we go to the official scorecard. The judges have scored the fight 48-47 in favor of the blue corner. 49-46 in favor of the red corner. And 48-47 in favor of your winner. And new Gamma New York State 150 pound champion. Out of the red corner, Matthew. All heart, Valencia. And new deceived me there, but it looks like it's gonna stick with Matthew Valencia. He's keeping the belt. Matthew Valencia doing a fantastic job there, but Pedro Ribeiro is showing a lot of great, great things. As I said before, when the, it's the reigning champ rather than a vacant title that you're fighting against, you've got to really steal it. If it's close, they're gonna default to the champion because he's the reigning champ and the only uh, obligation that he has is to defend himself and defend the championship. And you see the Rigoro team there happily celebrating with Matt, all heart Valencia, and the Gamma officials there.